Well, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, STEM education is really thriving in Central Florida. It is. A group of students is headed to a huge robotics competition in North Florida, highlighting their engineering skills and unique project using cow power to create electricity. I love this. As New 6 Insider Guide, Crystal Moyer explains it all started as a joke but turned <laughs> into real-life potential. Bridget, I knew you weren't going to say it. I'll say I it. I didn't write it. We're talking about cow <laughs> fart energy. Did I, I get said, your attention? I said it earlier. <laughs> the young students are working hard for the big competition that's teaching them beyond the classroom. It lifts up the oil platform right there to get the oil e units out of there, but it doesn't work every time. It's all about trial and error for the robotics team here at Modern Minds Academy in Ormond Beach. Using engineering to design a robot, then coding it to perform specific tasks. When it all comes together, we get 20 points for that. Ethan Strode is just 12 years old, working on the robotics project with his teammates, preparing to travel to North Florida for a state robotics competition. Their uniforms a bit odd, each member dressing in cow suits. But it all has to do with their project, finding a unique way to harness energy using cow farts. Yeah, you heard me right. We were jokingly talking about cow farts as a energy source for the future. Um, at first I was like, no, that is like, we're gonna be the laughing stock. <laughs> um, but really it has become something that could be possible. Um, all the cows on earth could potentially power 300 million homes. STEM educator Morgan Phillips overseeing the robotics team. I'm very hands off here. The students doing all the research, consulting farmers and energy experts, and coming up with their award winning robot design that earned them a spot in the state competition. The dome like farm that they have created will capture the methane through a selective membrane. Um, just by the cows doing their daily business, walking around, the manure counts, their flatulence and their belches count. Nine students ranging from fourth to eighth graders bringing the concept to life. They've built it in Minecraft, they've built it out of Legos. Their Minecraft build is very detailed and intricate. Here's the tube where the methane is transferred from the farm to the converter. This is where the conversion process takes place. Here's the gas turbine. It sucks in methane and carbon dioxide and heats it up. This is the generator. This is where the heat is converted to electricity. Next, it is sent out to the homes and buildings to power them. Phillips saying it takes perseverance for this team to succeed, a skill that will help these students well into the future. It takes first off time to build that, and second, the amount of work and confidence that they have at the end of the season is just beyond what you can do in the general classroom. The students even visited the Volusia County landfill to better understand the process of measuring methane gas and the potential for converting it into energy. So cool. We wish you all the luck yes. at your first Lego League Robotics mm -hmm. competition. Good luck. The team is also raising money to help with travel and registration expenses for the competition this weekend. And I posted their GoFundMe on clickorlando.com slash insider if you'd like to contribute. I go into schools all the time and I always leave feeling so hopeful because these kids, they're thinking of brilliant ideas mm -hmm. and ideas that we didn't think of. I mean, mm -hmm. I think we're in such good hands with the next generation coming up. They're just brilliant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's so funny because they all wear the cow suits. So Very cute. cute. Yeah, Miss Phyllis was like, oh my gosh, that be has become their identity. Everywhere they go, people <laughs> recognize them because of the cow suits and they look comfortable. Yes, they do. They look do. Comfortable. I mean, a little hot right now, yeah, but, but yeah, still, yeah. listen. Yeah. But that's just so great. And I mean, and one of those things that they're going to take that, whether, yes. I mean, whether this becomes really the future of energy source. Yeah. That, I mean, talk about pretty cool. Yeah. But, I mean, this is something that they'll be able to remember forever. It's you a know? process. It, it mean, really is. Mm -hmm. Even when uh, our photographer went there to shoot the story, they had to try it out so many times and do the coding and change wow. things. And that's what robotics is all mm -hmm. about. You know, it's not going to be perfect every single time. And it was cool that they got together. You know, um, their teacher said there's sometimes some conflict and mm -hmm. they're maturing because right? they're having to work those yes. conflicts out that's great. to move forward with this project. So congrats, yes. guys. Yeah, and they're that doing will serve, well. Yeah. And that will serve them in the workplace. Mm -hmm. They're learning skills yeah. they'll use their whole lives. Yep. Crystal, thank you.